When the Sultan tells you this is the best combination of all the techniques he has learned over the years in my favorite atars, I'm all ears. I could almost put this on my pancakes with the beauty this opens up in a syrup form, and that would be a tobacco syrup I'm buying at my local food corp. Vintage strength in a modern era. Was Pasha a tobacconist in another lifetime? This guy plays with tobacco, smells as good as the Fuentes do with tastes. That's a huge freaking compliment, by the way. I'm Brandon, therapeutic fragrance, Pasha. Sultan Pasha, tobacco arum on the channel. One of his newest guitars. Stay tuned. All right. Check these out. This is the order. Hopefully you can't read any of those soon enough, soon enough. This is the tobacco room. This is the, the one ML. I think I was gifted a little generous there on it. Who knows? But um, 150 for one ML, 445 for three ML. I think it's the most expensive guitar on the site. I'm not sure. I have over five wearings on this. Good, good swipes too. Notes. Uh, Salt and Pasha is the nose behind it, launched in 2020, brand new, not many reviews up on Frank Granica yet. Top is Iranian Saffron, Jasmine Sandback, Orange Blossom, Oriental Tobacco, Middle is Omanthus, Absolute, Virginian Tobacco, Orange Blossom, Absolute, Tuberose, Absolute, Ylang Ylang Carnation, Oris Butter, and Cambodian Oud. Base is Burley Tobacco, Sandalwood, Mysore, Honey Absolute, Siamese Benzoin, Hindi Oud, White Ambergris and Natural Ambertolide Isolate. Whew. We're playing with fire. We're playing with fire here. Should I swipe a little bit on? This one, um, really don't want to do under the nose on this one, so it, it doesn't work as well with that. Um, I'll do this wrist. I've gotten a habit doing my finger. Um, I, I just why I'm working. I mean, I just, I'm liking it. So it's maybe this is my signature atar pour, but definitely want that. You want the pulse points with this atar for sure. Under the nose, the tobacco is too heavy and overwhelming. Hit the pulse points and this is where the magic carpet opens up. The first time I wore it, I did put it under the nose, thought it was a pipe tobacco fragrance. I couldn't be further from the truth. You'll get that right when you pour it on, but when this sets into skin and starts breathing and developing, it develops into something so much more. As with all Sultan Pasha's time and familiarity are key with the Atars. There's a reason I took a year to go through all of these samples and tobacco rum, same thing. It just takes a long time to go through. You're not gonna sit down and want it. Won't, you fall in love with one wearing, but you're gonna learn so much more every wearing with the Sultan Pasha. I thought I'd be good at it by now, but everyone just blows my mind still. And and really, this is a new one and makes me just concentrate, take notes, really, really pay attention to the guitar. After the five wearings, I learn things still from this thing that, that are in this review. So I, I, in a year, this could be updated even more. There's just so many nuances in those notes. Those notes that I listed some of those are just powerful ingredients that have so many fa facets that, again, it's a nuanced attar. That's that's part of what this house is. It just gives you so much, and they're so fun to wear. It, it, so much life in these attars. So many facets. You're going to start hearing this one from me a lot. Salt Pasha is flat out a tobacco genius. It's one of the main things I learned about going through all the samples and the study in front of you guys. I was probably into the third one and started reading tobacco again, tobacco, tobacco. And I'm like, this guy is, and it's, it, we're not talking one note of tobacco. He's just, and again, tobacco was one of my favorite notes before getting into perfume. Oud is definitely my favorite, but tobacco is there. I'm very familiar with it, with, with all the cigars I have from green to as dark as you can get them and everywhere in between, each one of those has a profile scent. Pasha is playing with this profile scent better than anybody in perfume, period. And I learned that mostly going through all his samples. So tobacco room, yeah, I, I almost kept my mouth shut during that first video when I found out that was on his site. 
And he, he spoke of that, you know, being some of his best work, what he learned to, to, to do. I was like, I got to get this. In comments, I told everybody about it. I told everybody to buy it. So it's on you. If you didn't pay attention to comments, it's available. This is the one. Wow. I'm not just talking about a hit composition. I mean, I'm talking about playing with fat, the tobacco facets and letting the leaf speak for itself against all the other raw materials and binding and combining and forming that DNA that, that just how he does it. It's just great work. How he does so many different compositions, it, it, it still blows my mind from all the other houses I smelled. It, it's really unique to see this done in perfumery. This is one that's going to age so well. Every ingredient in this is just made for aging. If you can afford it, get that 3ML, sit on this. It, it, it's going to get better. It, it's good out of the box, but it's going to get better and better and better. I have cigar, many cigars over 10 years old. That's what tobacco does. It blends with everything and just gets better and better. It's like wine, oud, sandalwood, ambergris. It's just, it, they're all in here. So it's just going to age like crazy. Every time I wear it, I honestly think it's all natural. I can't pick out the synthetic, even in the dry down on this. I know he uses mixed media. I haven't got word from him. I really didn't follow up on, on this in time. I'm anxious to get this out. And um, yeah, it, it, it smells like an all natural to me. I'm sure he's using some for longevity and projection as he's known to do. But it's well hidden and blended in this. Perfume compared to the notes, uh, that sweet saffron air backed by a few tobaccos, light handed pipe and a blonde tobacco note. Spice. Spices, aromate. Come on Webster's, I'm waiting for you to give me my word. I want one word I came up with printed in Webster's. That's life goal of mine. Aromate. There we go. These spices aromate in the air around you. Some of the oud really pushes these notes. Oud never becomes its own thing. It's just a platform for all of this to lay on, especially that tobacco and all the aromatics in there, the saffron. If you're scared of Hindi oud, don't let this one scare you away at all. It doesn't have that Hindi punch um, at all. It's just using it as a really good base. To, to give everything else a platform to breathe on. A tang from the jasmine and nuances of orange blossom that really give this that syrupy vibe I talked about in the, the opening of the video. Right when you apply it, it literally smells like a yummy tobacco syrup. Like, sounds like the next thing for your pancakes if you're at the table. It smells that yummy. But it, it your skin heats up, develops it, and it dries down very quickly into your skin, into the air around you, and all the aromas melt together and create a great fumé. Right in the heart, heart, the syrup is pretty much all faded. Saffron is still there with uh, more florals blooming out of the attar. There's kind of a tobacco powder that develops on the skin. Um, it really dries up um, off of that sticky opening. Little nuances of carnation, oud, my Sor and Oris combine a unique accord that sits with the tobacco. The tobacco, while not linear, it's like smelling fresh cigars or cigars in a humidor when you're really close to the skin and away. It's, it's literally that same effect of walking in and out of a humidor. You can smell the tobacco out of it lighter, smell it heavier in the humidor. It's the same thing wherever you applied it that, that you're smelling that. And if you're just sitting down, it's about... A foot, foot and a half, and you'll pick up that, you know, before you open the humidor smell of the door, tobacco flow of it. So depending what you like in your tobacco, you can have a lot of fun fun with this where you apply it, close to the nose or more away from the nose. And it, it it's two hugely different scents based on how you do that. It's a fun one. Dries down to a unique honey tobacco. Um, it it kind of goes back into, I don't know if this is my heat or my skin or whatnot, but not full on syrup, but just a dried down sticky uh, a, a sweetness, honey sweetness, tobacco in the dry down. So that's kind of fun transitions with this. Again, it's moving ebbs and flows all over this thing. Overall, this is a wearing meant for Cuba. 
Um, seeing those retro cars down there, the cabana, all of that. This is the smell I would imagine people just being bassed in. It's got your florals. It's got the heavy, rich, great tobacco smells, fresh tobacco smells. It's got some oud, ambergris, that ocean feel to it. Cuba, again, that's what I have. Scoring for tobacco, rum, salt, and pasha. Experience of 15 out of 15. Branding, 5 out of 5. Project CI is 3 out of 5. Longevity is a 3 out of 5. Composition as a whole, 20 out of 20. Ingredients and price to melt, 22 out of 25. Tops of 10, 10, 4 out of 5 for the heart, 10, 10 for the base, 92 collection worthy. That's why I had to wear it five times. That's why I couldn't put this up right away after I did my story. Stuff takes time. And I already have another video coming out to finish off the, the roulette game, too. Where would I wear this? This, if you can afford it, signature scent, tobacco and oud. Heck yeah. For me, night out with the fellas steak night out you know playing pool whatever you do but night out with the fellas um all year long i'd wear this i don't see this blowing up in high heat at all i see it working better in high heat who do i see wearing this one ready for this new one to the channel but somebody i've i've loved for a long time carlos arturo fuente senior nobody saw that one coming um, cigar lovers know exactly who this is. He makes some of the best cigars. A lot of people argue they're they're even or back and forth with Cubans. Um, he has some signature tobacco that's out of this world. And and just years in the making, the seed, it's all documented. Pretty cool story, but send him a bottle. One of these days somebody's gonna get a bottle and report back. How many? How would you wear this? One to five swipes. Five if you could afford it. Um, the max I did was three full swipes. I want to save this in Asia. It's expensive. That's what I got for me. Uh, projection six inches to a foot. The Siage is really short tailed. You're not going to blow a lot of people away with this or, or even walking by that much. Longevity is kind of shorter, four to six hours max on this one. Love you guys. Tobacco, Rum, Salt, and Pasha. I'm out. Be blessed.